What's up people, just doing a quick video on my uh, Sabenza 25 with uh, the micarta inlays. Um, I already did one of these, but someone was saying it looked kind of dark and it was kind of hard to see. So I just figured I'd do another one on my normal camera that I use. But um, if you watch the first one, there's, you know, not anything really new in this one. So if you don't want to watch it again, I'm um, just giving you the heads up. But uh, basically, a lot of people say the 25 inlays are ugly. Um, I don't think they're like butt ugly or anything like that, but I do agree with people that, you know, the 21 inlays look a lot better. Um, I definitely think they could have went with like a one piece or something like that that would have made it look a little bit better than it does. That being said, and like I said before, I don't think it's like ass ugly. But um, as far as why I bought it is basically I like all my Sabenzas inlaid. Um, I had a plain 25. I actually really like that too. And, you know, um, but I still do prefer this one over it just because why I like the inlays on all of them is the little extra thickness it adds to the handle. Um, I, I think for me in my grip, it definitely feels better in hand. And I like that little extra beefiness at the inlays, even though it's not that significant, it, it definitely feels better to me in the hand. But, uh, so it accomplished that for me and I really do. I mean, I love this knife. Um, this one's nice and smooth. Um, you know, I don't mess with the washers or anything like that. I just break them in and, um, so no complaints there. I put a nice edge on it, but, um, I will say this <clears throat> just so you know, I'm on the 20, the differences between the 25 and the 21 are, are been noted in videos before, but, uh, I just wanted to, you know, let this, uh, put this out here too, is, um, you know, the maintenance part of it, taking them apart, the 21 far exceeds that. I mean, you just take the screws out, clean it, do whatever you gotta do, put it back in, put the screws down, tighten them down, you're done. And, uh, I do think the 21 is a, a little bit smoother than the 25. Um, but beyond that, um, on this one, you know, they give you Loctite with it. And, you know, the first 25 I had that was plain, I, I never took it apart, actually. I had it for about two weeks before these came out. If I would have known these were coming out right now, I wouldn't have, you know, bought the plain one. But um, I had no issues. Now, with this one, after having it for a couple of days and playing with it, when I would open it, it would stop kind of like right here. And I'd have to use more force and get it to open all the way. Um, I could flick it open all the way just because of the amount of force. But when I shut it, it would stop right there, too. And then I'd have to push it close. And, you know, I'm wondering what the hell's wrong with this thing. And I looked at it, and the stop pin, somebody else has probably said this out there before, but if you can see there, I'll try to get it to focus. But the stop pin has a flat spot on it. And the flat spot is not to contact the tang of the blade when it actually stops. It's literally just for clearance. Like, as you can see there, how tight that fit is right there. But when the blade is moving between the um, tang of the blade and the stop pin that it literally has to be in the perfect spot for it to um, you know function correctly so what had happened is that it somehow had moved and the tang of the blade was actually contacting the stop pin a little bit and then I could push it past it it needed force so I took it apart um, cleaned it up while I had it apart and then I put it back in <clears throat> got it fit right and then I locked tight while well, I locked tighted it got it to fit right and I locked tied the pivot, and I've used it for a couple of days now, and uh, I've had no issues. Um, that being said, you know, I really love the 25. And I will say one other thing. For some reason on this micarta one, compared to my plain one, that the pocket clip seemed to dig in my hand a little bit more, that it was, you know, protruding a little bit more. It just felt that way. I bent the tip of the clip down a little bit, and now I can't feel it at all. But on my plain 25, I don't know if that was just an oddity or whatever. I'm sure it was, but... For me, I noticed it, and I bent it down. My Plane 21 I, was fine. But overall, I really like it, um, and it is what it is. You know, I still love the um, 21, um, just ease of maintenance, and it's a little bit smoother. But um, I definitely like the little extra added beefiness on the blade here on the 25, and, you know, the ceramic uh, detent and, I guess, lock interface you call it, I don't know, but um, I definitely love the 25 as well, um, I definitely think the 25's got the 21 beat ergonomically, but um, definitely ease maintenance all around, that pivot bushing is just, I mean, 
you know, I, I see a, a lot of people are mad that they didn't do that in the 25, and I can see why. When you're used to that, it is, you know, very nice just to be able to take your knife apart, put it back in, put the screws in, tighten it down, forget about it, and not worry about it ever coming loose or anything like that. So, um, I can see that, but nonetheless, I still like the 2085, and I like it with the micard inlays. But that's it, people. I'm out.